Yo, imagine. You look around, your room's a mess. You look down, you're out of shape, stomach fat, flabby, all that. You look in the corner of your room, it's napkins. You use napkins because you want to fap all night. You look in your bank account, you have no money. You look in your phone, text messages. You got no attractive girls, a girl that you genuinely find attractive messaging you. It's like a crap life, doesn't it? For people who don't know me, my name is Mon Dejour, right? And then the reason I'm on here is because I want to tell a little story. I want to tell a little story about, I think it was 2020. No, it was 2000. I think it was 2020 around September. All right. So I love basketball for people who don't know. I love basketball, but I never got to play basketball when I was younger and in high school. It was because my self-esteem was really low. I didn't really want to, even though I was tall, taller than everybody else, I didn't really want people to watch me. My self-esteem was low. I didn't feel like I was good enough to play the sport, right? So I used to want to play in my mind, but I never really, I never did it. Yeah, I tried out for the team one year, I didn't make it. And I think one year I tried out for the team. Actually, one year I went late because I knew I wasn't going to make the team. Or I was scared to go while everybody else was there. So I went late and made up some excuse saying I was in the military or something like that. So the coach just told me to make two layups, a right hand, left hand. I made both. He said, you're on the team. I went to one practice and never showed up again. I was I was nervous. I was too scared to be there. So, right, let me fast forward the story. So I went to the school called Rowan. Went to the school to basically to play basketball. I talked to the coach, did whatever. So I'm basically on the basketball team. The second day of school, once I finally switched my mind, right after COVID, I find well during COVID, I finally switched my mindset. I'm about to play basketball, start training every day. I actually got better, got my confidence up. Like I would go to the court, people would be like, "Yo, who are you? A great player, whatever, whatever." The second or third day of school, me practicing, I got injured. And the injury was so bad that the doctor described it as: imagine someone with a sledgehammer. Just hitting the side of your, your knee. Now, everybody tears their meniscus in a way where they're running, like let's say D Rose. You're running off for, you know, the dunk or whatever, whatever, and you're going, and you do a cut wrong and you tear it. The way I tore it was like a like a bat just hitting my knee to the side. And the impact was so hard from the outside, it tore the inside of it, and my bone was shifted. So it was really, really bad. And I didn't I was really broke. I didn't have any money. Didn't have any insurance. I didn't have any. I was basically living on my own. So I wasn't able to walk for about over a year. My knee was so messed up where I couldn't even walk with crutches. I would like, let's say I'll be walking and it will, I would slightly bend my knee. And I would start screaming that the pain would be so unbearable. Or I was straightening it all the way out or bending and it would just hurt so bad. I couldn't even lay down. That's how bad it was. So for over a year, so the whole 2021 up until 2022, I finally got surgery. 2021 around the spring time, no, no, around the uh, the fall time, 2021, I finally got surgery. Then you know after I got surgery, I was better, but like, I was better, but I had to go through the recovery stages. Which mean a few three months or four or five months, I forgot how long it was. I needed crutches and this, that, and the third. So, you know what I mean? So around, around um, maybe December 2021 or January 2022, that's when I got better to start doing stuff, walking, all that stuff. It was still hurt when I was bent down and stuff. But that basically, I was out at a party. I haven't partied in like a year or two, right? But I was out at a party. Then, um... I was out with my friends and some dudes would go to Rutgers and something just hit me. Like, I, I, I don't know, something just hit me. This girl came up to me and was like, what's your name? I said, Mon Dijou. And she like, please don't tell me you go here. Like, it looked like you're famous. It looked like you should be doing something else with your, you know what I mean? Please don't tell me. Long story short, she was just like, don't waste your talent. She was like, I hope you find something that you're good at. Because you just, the oil you give is just different. You're not like these other people. So, I go... I go back to my boy dorm and I'm pondering on it. I'm just thinking about it. 
I told my man, I'm like, bro, it's my last time coming out, man. I'm, I'm about to be on some real stuff. Monk mode, you guys know what monk mode is. If you don't, basically, you just focus on self-improvement for a certain amount of time. You just be low. You just focus on yourself and improving. I told them I was going to go monk mode. They didn't believe me. Obviously, you know how I be. They didn't believe me. That was like the last time I really... That was the start of everything. That was about two years ago. It was 2024, about two years ago. That was the start of everything. That was the start of the prep. I was really skinny. You know, I didn't really have... I was just chasing um, the instant gratification. I wasn't really on Instagram too much. You know, not really, but I was just trying to have sex. Like, I was at a period of time where people would have lived... Like, people would have died to live the life that I was living at that time. I'm, I'm having sex with fives and sixes and sevens and stuff. You know, just girls... Well, I ain't gonna say fives. I ain't gonna drive like that. But like six and seven girls, I'm not truly attracted to, just because my just because my private part is hard. You know, I'm and having sex with them because you know I just want that instant gratification. You know what I'm saying? Like literally wasting my time. I was working at a warehouse job at that time, so that that was at the time where I stopped partying and stuff like that. Started to focus more on my bag. Now I still wasn't fully in monk when I was just not really talking to. I was not just having sex around a girl. I was talking to maybe one or two girls at the time, maybe. Yeah, I was talking to maybe one or two girls at the time. You know, just conversating. I'm really doing too much for real. Paying too, too much mind. But I was working a regular job. And I was trying to start going to the gym, but I wasn't really that, you know what I mean, into it. So I would go, like, every here and there. So I got a little better physique. Like, I was a little better. Then, um... Then... Around spring, like maybe around May ish, twenty twenty two, that's when I got fired from Amazon. I was working at Amazon, and that sparked something in me. So I had to go on monk mode for about a month, and this is how strong monk mode is. I went monk mode for a month, gym twice a day. You know what I mean? Made Instagram, TikTok, all that. Well, not really TikTok crew, but made Instagram account. So I start posting on it. I started posting on it within. That month, I got over 10K followers. I went from like 1,000 to 2,000. And then soon I was with my boy. That's why it's important to have a good circle. And I made a post on Facebook um, early. I'm going to link it down. It might be like the um, the second link or whatever. I'm going to link my Facebook down. But I made a post earlier saying people in your circle should be the most. People in your circle should be the most supportive of you. So at the time, this, is, this guy, I mean, even right now, he he's still basically the same. You know what I mean? My right-hand man. But his name Milk. At that time, me and him got fired the same day, and he was already into the gym, he was already into fitness and stuff, so it was easy for me to get onto that. So, today it's, what's today? Yeah, today is March 9th. So, it's been about, like, a year and a half, a little over a year and a half since I've really been working out for real. But, um, once I got fired, it sparked something in me. I started the Instagram journey, started growing, 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 growing. You know, I went from, I get 10K, I had 10K in, like, two weeks or something like that, I forgot. Then I'm growing, and it's like June at this time. So I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing, just locked in. Then around August, September, I hit a uh, stop. I I meet this girl, and this is why, I'm not saying girls are evil, but if you're in a period of time where you don't nowhere near have your ish together, where you're nowhere near how you want to be, and I'm making a much not making the amount of money you want to make. You don't look the way you want to look. Whatever. I feel like girls should not be your first priority. Also, we're young. And one thing I always think is, dang, I'm missing out though. What if I can't? Because me, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, obviously, I'm a red pill person. I'm a masculine person. But I enjoy the uh, the lover stuff. You know what I mean? You're having a girl. you talking to her. you hang hanging with her. you cuddle up with her. I enjoy certain things like that. To moderation, obviously, I ain't no simp. But, you know. I enjoy that, but actually seeing, like realizing that if you don't got your ish together, you don't where you, you ain't where you want to be. You don't need to focus on a girl because I will always think that I'm, I'm gonna miss out on finding a bro. These girls are still gonna be here. I'm 24 years old right now. I could be 27 and meet a girl my age right now. 24 who's still going. I could be 30. The girl 24 is still gonna like me. Cause, Cause I got my issue together. A girl with nine times out of ten, if you both are twenty two, she would nine times out of ten choose the thirty year old who got his ish together. 
So there's no rush, honestly. You're going to meet, you know I me mean? And me, I'm real, like, big on, I don't want no 30-year-old, you know, no offense to people, people could do whatever they want to do, but, and if you're a masculine man, I feel like you can agree with me that I don't want, if I'm 30, 31, I don't want a girl who's 32, 33, you know, older woman, because, one, you, you got a little more mileage on you. Nobody, men like innocent women, right? And it, it's not a secret. Men like innocent women. I prefer a girl who has, girl been with one or two guys rather than a girl that been with 20 guys. I'm not saying you, you keep 30, you've been with 20 guys, but obviously, if a girl is 22, she nine times out of 10 will have less experience in that aspect than a girl who's 35. That's just how it works. Also, there's no time on it. If I'm messing with a girl who's, you know, let's say she's 27, I'm 31. Um, I have more time. Girls want to settle down and get kids before their time is too late. Men can have kids at almost any age. 60, I know one of my cousins, one of my uncles is 60 years old and he just had a baby at 61. Man is in his 60s, you get me? So there's no real time limit on that. So I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm not rushed to do whatever, whatever. I realize, so basically, right, I'm, I'm off topic. So... I meet this girl around July, August of 2022. And I was on a, a, a rampage on Instagram. In like three months, I got I gained like 30K maybe. Three months, I got like 30K. I hit 30K, I think August. August 1st or the end of July. I forgot when it was. About 30K, I was on a rampage. As soon as I met this girl, I didn't notice at the time. I miss. And keep in mind, I'm in a shape, dude. Like, if you follow my if you follow my Instagram, I'll link my Instagram down below. If you follow my Instagram, you know I'm in shape. And I was obviously bigger than this before, for people who don't know. But I literally watched how I was chasing instant gratification. I was having sex every day with her. Monk more went out the window. Having sex with her every day. Not making content. I was making modeling and fitness content at the time. Not doing any photo shoots. Not practicing dancing. Not going to the gym, playing basketball a little bit, barely. I, I was really home. I was at her house. We were just having sex, watching movies. I haven't watched movies. I haven't watched a movie or a show in a very long time. But when I was talking to her, I was watching movies. We were just doing stuff. She, women want, women don't have that pressure that we have on us. That feeling like I'm a man. I need to go out and get it so I can provide for people. They don't have that same drive, most of them. So... They want the finer things in life, which is enjoying going on vacation and doing this, doing that with their man. That's what they like, right? As a man, you cannot do that unless you got your... As a boy, you cannot do it unless you got your ish together. I'm going to be honest. So she's being harmless. She's cooking food for me every day. I'm getting, you know, skinny fat. I'm not going to the gym. And it took me until we stopped talking. We talked for a long time, too. I didn't gym at all for very, 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 very long. Very long, like five, maybe six months. So I missed out that whole gap. I was getting really, really skinny. And also, I was still at 30K on Instagram. It's like March. We stopped talking. Well, I stopped talking to her because I realized it just wasn't good for me. I had to go back a month more. Something clicked in me again. I was like, I'm not even really attracted to this girl. You know, she's a pretty girl. But I'm not really attracted to her for real. She's not the ideal. She's not the 10 that I look for, the 9.5, whatever it is, that I sometimes see on the street today. She was just a girl that, you know, and I know you guys felt that same thing before, or even probably feel it now. A girl who's attractive, but, you know, she's attractive, decently attractive, but it's not the real girl you want. or just the girl you would tolerate, okay? She came up to me. I'm pretty sure I was out somewhere and she came up to me. We started talking, got my number, and it was easy. So I was like, okay, she liked me. She wanted to come over. Okay, cool. So it was real easy. It wasn't hard. That's why I, I feel like I I became complacent. You get Well, a lot of men go through that. They will, a girl they're not really attracted to, they will go talk to her and settle. A lot of people will settle with a five just because it's easy. And she gives them, you know, poom poom every day and, you know, whatever it is. He doesn't have to go out and really strive and get out of his comfort zone and, Code approach or talk to the girl that he's really attracted to. So that's basically what I was doing. So I ended up cutting it off around March. I came back to the grind. Started working out again. Got a little in shape. 
said, well, you know, I might take a trip. I took a trip to England. I said, I'm going to start making dancing kind of take a trip to England around April, maybe. I met a guy named Yannick Ivorian Kid. Did some dances with him. Made some content. The first person I ever clad with, that was my first real dancing video. Came back out here. I was trying to, you know, put pieces together. I had to get back in the gym, get my mind right again, do a little modeling stuff. Get, get back on the board with modeling because I ain't modeling so long. Get my Instagram back up. So I was growing a little bit, maybe a 40K-ish. Then fast forward June, July, that's when I really started getting serious. You know, June was the last time I had sex. And that's when I really started getting serious. After I really cut that out and started monk mode again. That's really when things start going up. Now I'm at 300. Today is March 9th, 2024. I'm at 315K followers on TikTok. I started the year off. I started, it was June, July. I, I don't even think I had any followers on TikTok. Started that. Now I'm up. I didn't have any followers on YouTube. Started that 40, 46K maybe. Facebook, same thing. 60 something K right now. Snapchat, 28K. I started everything and it started going up. So... That's basically my story, how I got into fitness. You know, the injury really set everything on par. I couldn't work or anything, so I was out for over a year. It made me very socially awkward. I was always, I didn't really like talking to people. Even now, I don't really like talking to people, but it made me worse. So then after that, it was getting fired from the job. That's really what sparked it. Then talking to that girl I just told you about, as I stopped talking to her, I watched how my life went up. And I couldn't do I couldn't have done that while still talking to her. So this is this is my advice to people who's talking to girls they're not really attracted to and just wasting time going out on um, uh, meaningless dates with people that you really are not even into like that, just because you want sex or whatever it is. This is your your message to go and see retention, no fap. And actually go into monk mode. And monk mode does not mean this. For me, I'm I kind of don't like talking to people. I don't like going to parties. That's just not me. I don't like. I, I honestly, I really don't like having having friends. I uh, you know I enjoy if I have a girl or t two or whatever it is that I'm talking to a girl you know that I genuinely like. And we vibe you know talk to her a little bit. And I have maybe one maybe two people max in my circle of guys that I talk to, and then other guys who are not in my friend circle but more in my business circle. Like let's say it would be gym partners or it would be. People that I do content with or something like that. Or people that I make money with. Like, you know, dance performances or, or, or model friends that we make money together. That's different. But my actual, actual circle that I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe one or two. I don't really like talking to my people. But this is not your excuse to say you're in monk mode. You're in senior retention. You're in all this. So you don't go and be social. Go and be social. I kind of wish I was more social. Well, I really don't wish it. I probably should be for, you know, health reasons, you know, mental health reasons and stuff. But I I really don't like being, so I don't like talking to people. And this is a girl. I'll talk to a girl. Don't get it twisted, gangster. Or people that, you know, that I feel like, I just don't like wasting my time in talking to people who are who have a low-level mindset. But this is not your excuse to not go and talk to that girl that you find very attractive, that you're looking at every day at ShopRite or you're looking at at work every single day, like, Oh my gosh, she's so good. But I'm going to see her attention. So, you know, ha, you know, I would talk to her, but I'm going to see her I'm in monk mode. So don't don't make that dumb excuse. Come on. Me and you both know. Me and you really both know. Why are you not talking to her? Because you're a coward. You're scared. You don't have the confidence. You need to work on yourself. That's a part of self-improvement as well. Working on your interaction skill. Working on your charisma. Becoming a better person. Looking better. Doing all these things. That all falls under the umbrella of self-improvement. Me, I know I can pull a girl. Now, this is just not me making excuses. I know I can pull a girl. And then also, it's a few things that I want to work on. I've, I've been with a, a decent amount of girls that I find very attractive. Even some days I would see a girl I find attractive and I'll be like, I remember what happened last time. I went to go talk to a girl. I'm nowhere near my goals right now to go make that happen. So I'm just going to Actually be in monk mode, not the monk mode where you guys don't want to talk to people. Because best believe, if a girl is giving me choosing signals and I'm really, but I will go talk to her, I ain't going to lie to you. But I make I make everything clear though. You know what I mean? I don't really, you know, right now, I just want to know you a little bit, blah, blah, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not talking to her every day, whatever it is. But, um, yeah, so that's my story. That's why I made this.
That's why I just came here to make this. Well, the real reason why I came to make this is to talk about bad habits. A lot of times, bad things feel good. So if you're one of the people, you like me, you're the 1% of people that don't party, don't vape, don't smoke, don't measly drink, don't do dumb, low-level behaviors. You know, you, you want to make money, you want to improve yourself, you want to go to the gym. If you're one of those people, it will probably feel like, especially if you're in high school or middle school, especially high school, even college, it will probably feel like the people who are doing those low-level behaviors, drinking, smoking, doing everything, partying every weekend, it will probably feel like their life is better than yours. Which, in that instance, in the, the short term, it is. They have an instant gratification while you're here, you know, working out, trying to get, you know, right. There'll be somebody like Tyrone over here who, 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 who naturally just has, he smokes every day and naturally has, you know, good, decent biceps, good six pack, whatever it is. But you here, you're the skinny fat or you're overweight or whatever the case may be. And it seems like their life is better than yours. They're, they're getting a the girl that you want. They have the average that you want. They might be making a little bit of money like you want. But this is my message to you. Don't give up. Consistency always beats. The people that were cool in high school, I was not cool in high school at all. I was very skinny. I was like basically, like I was lower than a nerd. A nerd is someone who's really smart. I was one of them. Keep in mind, I never watched anime, right? Never watched anime. I was not really one of where, as you can tell, I'm a regular, you know what I mean? People would view me as equivalent to the anime kids. The kids who run around with their hands behind their backs looking at Naruto in school, they will literally view me as the anime kids. Uh, you know, girls wouldn't, never got no comments, anything like that. Dudes didn't want to be cool with me. But what I see is the people that were cool in high school are not cool today. And the people like me, Milk, who prioritized self-improvement and actually getting right, became the cool ones after all. So that's my advice to you. Do not give up just because you see people doing bad things. Bad things are always disguised as good in the moment. You get what I'm saying? So don't don't get discouraged by that. Just keep on your path. Sooner or later, you'll pass them eventually. And they'll be looking up to you for guidance. I really want to make this to hold myself accountable as well. So this might be, um, I'm going to try to be as transparent as possible. This might be, um, you know, Improvement for you guys, but self-improvement for me as well. I want to help you guys as well, but I want to help myself as well. So, um, yeah. Basically, the other day, I kind of cheated on my diet. I would just find myself doing very low-level behaviors for the whole week. You guys can probably see what I'm talking about. Eating stuff I shouldn't be eating. Doing things I shouldn't be doing. Playing the game. Doing a bunch of stuff. And I naturally have, not naturally, but recently I had clear skin for the last certain amount of a year or whatever it is. I got all these pimples on my face that you can see. Pimples on my face because I cheated my diet. And I just want to come on here and then I wanted to, I haven't been making content in New York like I usually do dance videos and stuff like that recently because of the pimples. I haven't really went to the gym because my skin was bad. Then I had to realize this is my fault. I'm a grown man. I need to deal with it. I need to get up and face it for the camera. Show you what happens when you guys Slack off. People say it's okay to eat a little junk food. It's okay to do this. It's okay to... For mental health reasons, yes, it is okay. But if you, one of us, one one percent people that want to make it, a real masculine man, if you want to make it, it's not okay. You need to punish yourself for things like that. Not punish in the sense of actually hurt yourself, but in the sense of facing the camera, going outside, letting people see, you know, stuff like that. Even though it's real, it's a real minor thing, but I'm so used to, when you're so used to having something, you know, clear skin or whatever it is, then, you know I mean, it just feels weird. It's like you're so used to having muscles, then you lose it all, you know, it feels weird, but, so I kind of made that to hold myself accountable for that. And I want you guys to know, life as a man is hard. It's really hard. It's really, really, really hard. You have to be strong. You have to provide mentally, physically. You have to be a leader. You have to guide Men, women, kids, older people, you have to be in play. You have to look good. You have to feel good. You have to be financially set. You have to have your things in order. You have to support your family, you know, your new family, kids, you know, partner, etc. And your, 
your family that you came from, your parents, maybe cousins, maybe you got little kids that look up to you. Life as a man is hard and you can't be weak as well. You can't be weak doing those things. You, you have to be strong. If you have feeling, that's why it's good to have a good circle of masculine men. You can let your, don't go to them and cry, but you, know, you can let out, you know, express how you feel about certain things. Because you have to keep that image up to certain people. So life as a man is hard. But one thing I realized that if you're doing different stuff than 99% of other people, then you're in a good spot. Because 99% of people are not disciplined. They're not, they're not competent. They're not strong. They're not stable. They're not, you know, leaders, any of those things. So if you're doing, if you're the outcast, do not feel bad. That's a good thing. But the moral of this whole message is self-improvement. Get on self-improvement. Start working out. Start improving your social skills. Try to talk to at least one new person every day, whether it be man or woman. But just because I say man or woman, don't every day only choose men to talk to, to have a conversation with. Mix in women as well. Talk to both so you can get comfortable with talking to both. Improve your social skills. You know, improve the way you dress. Improve your skin care. Improve your teeth care. Your hair care. Start working out. Do all those things. I just want to make this post because this is my story. I want to basically be tracking my self-improvement journey as well as helping you guys as well. So, I just want to ask y'all a question. Tell me one thing that's holding you back. One thing that's holding you back from being the person you want to be. Actually, think about it real quick. Think about the person you want to be. Close your eyes with me for a second. Think about the person you want to be a year from now. Think about the person you want to be in general. Envision him. How he looks. How he dresses. How he talks. The money he's making. What he's driving. Where he lives. The people he has around him. The woman he's with. Once you visualize that, think about something that's holding you back. I can tell you right now something that was holding back, something that's holding back right now, something that was holding back before is wasting my time. Before it was wasting my time going to parties. Second, it was wasting my time on women, talking to a bunch of girls, trying to link with a bunch of girls when I'm not even situated. I was literally so broke, I would scrape up money. I would just scrape up money, go to, you know, Rite Aid to put on my chime card, you know, pennies, quarters, just to put it on my chime card so I can Uber to women's house. And have sex with them. That's how, that's how huh, pathetic I was. You get? So, it was women. And now, hmm, uh, now it's just time, really. Because I already locked in. I stopped with the, uh, the woman. I stopped with the video games. So, yeah, for me, it was women in video games. But now it's just time. That's it. So, I want you guys to think about, actually, guys, comment. One thing that's holding you back from being the person that you want to become this year. One bad habit, whether it be, and make sure you comment it, because if you comment it, it helps with the algorithm and you make my video go more viral, whatever, so other people can see the video, all right? But whether it be alcohol, weed, cigarettes, video games, fapping, whatever it is, just comment that, yeah? And after you comment it, I want you to look at yourself and tell yourself you're going to eliminate that and actually eliminate it. I don't know how long this video is, I don't know how long this video is, but this is like my first video, so I'm going to make another one by tomorrow. This is March 9th, 2024. But, um, yeah, this is, this is just my way of helping you guys, but I help myself as well so we all can become truly masculine and become the person that we want to become. So my Instagram is going to be linked below. You can follow my Instagram. My Facebook will be linked below as well, like I told y'all. I'm, I'm even gonna throw my Snapchat down there as well. So if you guys wanna, um, if you guys wanna jump on that, but just make sure you do one thing, become desirable, especially, especially if you're not the person you wanna be. Become desirable, bye guys.